Hello, Phil Simmons here with the Video Business Unit and we're here at the Nokia Bell Labs Innovation Center and we're going to be demonstrating a new solution from Nokia called the Mobile Edge Video Accelerator product. And this solution can be deployed in 4G LTE networks today and it also can be deployed in the 5G networks of the future. The product's focused at a very particular area with video projected to become 70% of the wireless network traffic in the near future and, and there's multiple new TV everywhere and over-the-top OTT services coming into play. Um, service providers are looking for the best way to improve the experience for a user on the wireless network. Uh, and there's some factors that impact the way wireless networks work today. Um, latency, for example, um, the available bandwidth that you can get on the wireless network, uh, and the bandwidth variations due to the wireless network dynamic changes of congestion uh, and regular wireless network uh, dynamic capacity. Um, so the wireless providers today are looking to improve the video, uh, and they'd like to do that by looking at some key performance indicators. Um, they want a fast video start, that's really important. They want to reduce or eliminate the, the buffering or freezing that you get when you're watching a video over the wireless network. Um, they want to improve the video quality, they want the best video quality they can get uh, for the end user. They want to increase the network efficiency so that you, you actually can dynamically adjust the bandwidth to meet the available capacity on the wireless network. So all that said, the new Nokia Mobile Edge Video Accelerator product takes all those those areas into account and it can address those APIs and it can do that by placing the video content closer to the end user. The benefit of this we're going to show you in a moment when we go into the lab here to demonstrate this but you're going to see some really Im great improvements. We're here at the uh, Nokia Bell Labs and we're up in the actual lab itself with the Mobile Edge Video Accelerator system and these are some of the components that make up the lab system. We have the uh, Eno B, which is our, part of our wireless network, uh, and that's connecting out LTE to the to the network. Um, then we have beneath that we have a Nokia Airframe server, um, that's running our mobile edge computing, and that's doing a local breakout, and that's the intelligence there that brings and breaks out the IP routing um, to the content delivery network. So it, it's it's intercepting the requests for content and direct, directing them to a local cache. Um, beneath that we have um, our packet storm box that's introducing impairments into the network that make this a realistic user experience and so that's part of our lab system. And then far on the bottom right here we have for an HP server that's running our uh, Velocix video cache and that's what's streaming the video out. So between these systems here we're actually intercepting the request and delivering the video. So we're just in the lab and we're about to demonstrate these two user equipment uh, phones making a connection. The right hand side is going to Plano, the left hand side is going through the Mobile Edge Video Accelerator. So we're going to press the play button on my count of three. One, two, three, play. And you should see the video start. Uh, the video's already started on the left-hand side, that's the mech that's local to us here. It's just started on the right now, coming from Plano. Um, and you can see the quality in both is looking good. The, um, on the right-hand side, it's just a little bit blurrier because it doesn't have quite as much bandwidth. Left-hand side is playing nicely here as it goes through the, the video. And on the right, it's actually paused. It looks like it's frozen on the right. Oh, it's just started again, so you can see that the, the Plano Direct is having some buffering issues. On the left hand side we're playing nicely, very clear video quality. On the right hand side, not bad video quality, but we have had a bit of, of buffering and stuttering. Uh, on the left hand side, the video quality remains good. On the right, we just paused again, we just buffered again, so it's just stopped. Left hand side is playing nicely. I was playing again on the right hand side now. Again, the right hand side is coming from Plano, the left hand side coming from the Mobile Edge Video Accelerator. So you could see the difference in this of the two. Again, the, the right-hand side is just finishing off from Plano, playing the video through, uh, a little bit delayed there, uh, and it's just coming towards the end um, as we just about to finish now. But you can see it was delayed. It had some, it's a slower start time. It had some buffering, uh, and the quali video quality was not quite as sharp. We're back in the lab and this time we have the user equipment, the UEs, 
uh, tethered to a local laptop. So the laptop's going to show what the mobile device is actually fetching. And we're going to make a request out on the right-hand side laptop to um, the Plano content server for content. On the left-hand side, we're going to make the request out to the local Mobile Edge video accelerator. So we're going to get ready to start these videos on the count of three. One, two, three. We start the videos. On the left-hand side, you see the video already coming up from the Mobile Edge Video Accelerator. It's really got the video quickly. On the right-hand side, it's got the video now, but it was slower start. Um, on the right-hand side, the picture's a little fuzzy. It's not quite managed to build up its bit rate yet. Um, so you can see it's a little fuzzy. Um, it's playing, um, but it's not as sh sharp as it is on the left-hand side. The left-hand side, video is very sharp, good quality video. On the right, we're playing the video. You can see it, but it had a, it had a couple of pauses uh, and some freezing. Um, so again, we're, we're playing the video, both are playing the video, but the left-hand side locally is certainly sharper. Uh, I think you can see that from the, from the pictures being shot. And the, um, the benefit is that the local Mobile Edge Video Accelerator will deliver to any other users in that region. So other people who connect to see the video will get that quality. Whereas on the right-hand side, we're going out to the content server in Plano, and by definition, that's further away, so it's a, a poorer quality delivery. So that shows the slow start uh, on the right. It showed the, late, the, the buffering uh, and the quality wasn't quite as sharp. We hope you saw the benefit of the Mobile Edge Video Accelerator from Nokia that can bring the video content closer to the wireless subscriber to give you a faster start with better quality and high performance with low latency. And certainly we hope you saw the benefit compared to fetching the content from the Plano origin. So again, thanks very much for your time and uh, we'll talk to you soon.